To those who over the past few months continually talked about how wonderful Hillary is and told people who said anything negative about Hillary that they're just being bigoted or something, or you may have even acted like a bully towards those who didn't support Hillary, public perception makes a big difference. If the public thinks someone is awful, it doesn't really matter if they're actually awful or not. If the public perceives someone as awful, that's not the person you put up on a pedestal as being someone who can win against an asshole like Trump. It doesn't matter if you say that Sanders didn't have the numbers, even though his followers filled stadiums while Hillary's followers barely filled the seating of a gymnasium. It doesn't matter if you want to continue to believe that the DNC did no wrong. None of that matters. What matters is that you supported someone who has a terrible public image, and you chastised and bullied people who said that Hillary is not going to beat Trump. Get a clue. This is the same problem as those who constantly continue to sling words like privilege as a pejorative towards people who have done nothing wrong, or you say patriarchy every five minutes. It's the same issue. It's the same issue as ACT UP had in the 90s when they would get up in people's faces and yell, YOU HAVE TO ACCEPT ME, as if that's going to make people accept them. You can fantasize all you want that bigoted people are going to change their minds if you treat them like shit enough, but it just doesn't work that way. The truth of the matter is, those who treated everyone like shit for simply not praising Hillary have had their hand in why Hillary lost, because it was a complete unwillingness to even admit that Hillary has an image problem. It made people hate Hillary supporters. It makes no difference whether her image problem was based on misinformation or actual information or not. That makes no difference at all. She's so wonderful. Agree with me or you're unfriended. Yeah, that shit didn't help anything either. It actually made people hate Hillary even more. The next election, let's not make these same types of mistakes. If it's obvious that the public has a bad view of a candidate and no amount of bringing up facts changes their views of that candidate, Maybe you should support someone else, even if the candidate you originally supported is a woman or a minority. Thanks.